we all must know that homosexuality is a sin. The Bible says it. And some people may say that they were born a homosexual. That may be true. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, in so many words, God is saying, if you don't follow my commandments, these curses are going to come from me. <laughs> so, I am going to curse you if you don't follow my commandments. Okay, let's go to verse 18. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body. What is the fruit of your body? It is your children. So you not only curse yourself, but you curse your children. So how can a person be born a homosexual? A generational curse. Let's say that I am gay <laughs> and I sleep with a woman and the woman has a child. Because of my disobedience to God, I run the risk of my children being homosexual. Generational curse. So, that homosexual demon in me can be transferred into my kids. Does that make any sense? This is how people can be born gay generational curse let me say this there are kids who are born with anger problems and other problems how is this generational curse so everyone must know that homosexuality is a demon it is not like it is not that you are interested in the same gender. It is a demon who is manipulating you, making you think that you like the same gender. Does that make any sense? Most disorders out there, it is a demon behind it. So, when you cast out the demon, you are going to cast out the disorder. Does that make any sense? It really should, honestly. So, now you know homosexuality is a demon. It is not normal to like the same gender. The same way that it is not normal to have sex with an animal. It is not normal to be a person who wants to kill everyone. That is demonic. Does that make any sense? Anything abnormal most of the time, depending what it is, it is a demon. So, it is pointless trying to fight the urges alone. You can't. This is why you need Jesus to help you. You can't fight the homosexual urges on your own. You need God. Because you are fighting with a demon. 
if we don't have God, we have no power. So how can a mere human fight against a demon when he is separated with God or by God? So keep this in mind, God bless.